I first encountered Virginia Woolf when I was in college. My first winter break home uh, from school, my mother gave me for Christmas the first volume of Virginia Woolf's letters. And I'd heard about Virginia Woolf, and I had a kind of feeling about Virginia Woolf, like she was a writer's writer and somebody I should be interested in, but I had never read. Um, and I started reading her letters, and it was just like reading a novel. There was this whole cast of characters, and um, so many things going on. She was so witty and funny and smart. And I just remember sitting up in the top of my top floor of my parents' house under a blanket, just reading, you know, through those diaries. And then I was hooked. I, I read all of her, you know, I think there are six volumes of her diaries, or five volumes of her diaries, six volumes of her letters. Um, there's a lot to read. Um, and it was a long time before I got to her fiction. And when I did first read her fiction, I really didn't understand it. Um, but I was very compelled by it. It was very beautiful. And if I really brought my whole attention to it, it, was, it would put me in a kind of reverie. And it was a long time before I understood why this was, that she was writing in a particular way to get me to read in a particular way.